So at this point you should have um, seen the video um, that explains how um, the determinants are related to uh, solutions of linear equations. So if we have these two linear equations, um, we know uh, we can solve by um, uh, elimination if we if we multiply the first equation by uh, b2 and the second equation by minus b1 and um, add together. I'm not going to go through all the steps because it was in the video. We get um, this solution for x, this solution for y, and we saw that um, this um, denominator is um, actually the determinant uh, with a1, a2, b1, b2, and uh, this uh, numerator is, um, you know, the determinant of c1, c2, b1, b2, and something similar over here for, uh, happening for y. So we have these um, uh, expressions in terms of determinants. Again, I'm, I'm using dx and dy in here. That's what they used in the video. In, in your, in the course textbook, they say d1 and d2. I like the xy subscripts better because it, it's clearer what's going on here. So our, our determinant is the original a1, a2, b1, b2, and then um, for dx, we substitute the constants in for the um, x coefficients, and in dy, we substitute the constants in for the y coefficients. And also, um, as was remarked earlier, it's important that the uh, denominator is not equal to zero, because otherwise none of this will work, right? So you're not going to have a solution if, if the determinant is not equal to zero. So let's, um, I want to just go over one, uh, a specific example with, um, you know, plugging in uh, numbers for the coefficients. So let's say we have this uh, system of equations, 4x minus 3y equals minus 14, 3x minus 5y equals negative 5. So our um, d determinant is just our 4, 3, um, minus 3 minus 5, so that's set up here. And the way we calculate the determinant, remember we multiply this way, for, uh, 4 times negative 5, and um, then we subtract the product of these two, the product of um, my, uh, 3, and, 3 and minus 3, okay? So it's 4 times negative 5 minus 3 times negative 3 equals uh, negative 20 minus negative 9. Oh. Negative 20 minus negative 9 is negative 20 plus 9, right? Which equals negative 11. And then, um, And then um, for our dx, we, uh, we take the um, constants, the minus 14, the negative 14, negative 5, and we stick those in the x column, right? In place of the 4 and the 3, we put our constants. And um, we do the same um, multiplication, cross-multiplication deal. So we go negative 14 times negative 5 minus the product of these two, the product of negative 5 and negative 3. So that becomes uh, 70 minus 15, which is 55. Then for um, our dy, our d sub y, here we have, uh, we substitute the negative 14, negative 5 in the y column here. So now we have 4, instead of 4, 3, negative 3, negative 5, we have 4, 3, negative 14, negative 5. And um, we do our multiplication here, uh, 4 times negative 5, 4 times negative 5, minus the product of these two, 3 and negative 14. So it's 4, negative 5, minus 
3 times negative 14 equals negative 20 minus negative 42, which equals negative 20 plus 42, which equals 22. So we have a, for our determinant, we got a negative 11. Our d sub x, we got a 55, and our d sub y, we got a 22. So the next thing we can do then is substitute in. Remember we said for our x and y we have d sub x over d gives us x. So that's 55 over negative 5 gives, or over negative 11 gives us a negative 5. And um, y equals d sub y over d. That gives us 22 over negative 11, uh, which gives us a negative 2. And we can plug that back in, check against the original equations. This was our these were our original equations. And you see if we substitute them back in, um, uh, it works out. If we put in a negative 5 and a negative 2 in here, we end up with a negative 14. And if we put the negative 5 and negative 2 in the second equation, it comes out to 5.